today. Now we practiced for it yesterday. Remember we practiced breaking up hundreds into to groups of 10, right? And we use that one song, right? Um, 10 ones make 10. 10 groups of 10 are 100. 10 hundreds make a thousand, right? We go on and on and on. And that's how you find groups of 10. You could also draw pictures, you know, Excuse me. You could also sit there and draw those groups of 10 until you get to 400. That will take you a little while, but that's okay. If you have to do that, then that's how you do it. Okay? So you guys are going to do your... Stop, please. Now, you were such a gentleman this morning. It's so wonderful. And I even got to brag about you. Okay? So let's keep going on that good path. All right. Um, Danny, please be careful when you're standing on chairs in front of me. That just makes me nervous. All right. Um, anyway, so you guys are going to be doing your mid-module assessment. First graders, we're going to try to work kind of quietly so we give them some, some time doing that. Um, second graders, this is not something you can make Mrs. Jack do for you. This is to see what you know. She will read you problems if you, if you need help reading some of the words, but she's not going to do the word work for you. Okay? Um, Ms. Suhady, um, you can do the mid-module assessment on um, online. I put it on the Google Classroom. Okay? It's under today's date, 11-24, November 24th. Okay? Um, and so you can do it online and turn it in online. You can also, or you could do it, like, look at the problems on there and do the work on like a paper or a dry erase board or whatever, and turn it in on Dojo. I don't care how you want to do it, but um, but you can do either one, okay? So that's what you're doing. And Miss Danny, you're going to do the, the lesson here with me. So Zuhaydi, um, you may get off of this, or you can stay on either one, put us like down low while you work, um, but however you want. And then you would come back again at, um, and then you do Zern when you're done with that. Okay, and then you come back again at our writing time, 12.55. So you do Zern and Lexia and your, and your math assessment on your own, okay? Um, but if you want to stay on the meeting while you're doing that, that's fine. I don't care. But, but we'll, we will leave for lunch at 12.45. We'll come back at 12.25, and that's when we do Lexia. At 12.55, we have our writing meeting, okay? Bye, Zahidi. Okay. All right. First graders. First graders, first graders, we are on module one, lesson 32. Holy guacamole. It is a long module, lesson 32. I know you don't need your 
not click out yet. You will need it later, but not at this moment. Thanks, Mike. All right. All right. Um, I do want you guys to get out your whiteboards and your markers and your erasers. Okay. Good job, Danny. Okay. Okay, I'm looking for first graders who are quickly and quietly got out the materials. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, Miranda. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Cambridge. All right, Jimmy. 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 It's like you think I can't see or hear you, sweetie. You're right there. I was just saying you were doing awesome by getting out your stuff quickly, so don't ruin it by chit chatting with your neighbor. Okay. All right, Maximilian, why don't you pop up here since that seat has been sanitized and you're the only one that's been sitting in it since it's been sanitized. Okay, second graders, you guys need to be working quietly. I need Samuel to grow his arms back. Same with Troy. That is not appropriate behavior for second graders. Not in the classroom. You can go be an armless wonder outside during recess, but you do not get to be an armless wonder in my classroom. Okay, all right. Uh, there are eight juice boxes in cubbies. Eight juice boxes in cubbies. Some children drink their juice. Now there are only five juice boxes. Uh, Anaya, no. Very quickly. Put it down. Just put it down. Don't try to shove it up. Your, no. Set it down nicely. Look at how Elizabeth has hers down. Okay. All right. When we're ready to do it, you guys can write along with me, but you don't get to play with the with the markers and knock them off. Okay. All right, so there are eight juice boxes. Some children drank theirs. Now there are only five juice boxes. How many juice boxes were taken from the cubbies? Okay, we're gonna draw a little thing. We're not gonna make them real fancy. We're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we're gonna do our little number five. Okay, and then we give you our number sentence eight minus what equals five. Okay, you guys may all write that. Show me that you guys are writing that. I can, okay, and I have, we're not coloring them in. Did I color mine in? No, that takes time and ink. We're not going to waste it. Okay? So just, okay, now write all the numbers just like I showed you. Write all the numbers just like I did. Okay? Okay, um, Danny, I need you to also draw the eight little circles and then the number, the number story right there, the number problem. Five plus. Okay. Very good. Very good. And, and Miss Elizabeth also said, well, what if I want to make that an addition problem? Then it would be five plus what equals eight, which you just do it backwards. Five plus what equals eight. Okay. Whatever you want to do, we don't need to do the addition, but if you want to keep that one there, that's totally fine with me. All right. All right, I need all those number. Put the number in the number one too. We've got our big eight. Put your number eight in your number one. Like this. Yes, ma'am. Um, sweetie, 
What are the number sentences that you have? You don't have eight minus blank equals five. Do you? Oh, okay. And then you just have like five plus blank, but you don't have equals eight. All right. Very good. So, oh, Danny, so serious. You think she's got the answer. So what you do is you're going to say, I need to keep five of these. One, two, three, four, five. Cross out the rest. One, two, three, four, five. Keep five. Cross out the rest. You say, how many did I cross out? I crossed out. One, two, three. Okay. Then we could also, if we were doing that, what the heck did I do with my number line that I have up here? Oh, I'm as bad as the kids. Losing my stuff all the time. Can we X them up? Um, as long as you don't like make it too crazy. Well, sure. What the heck do I do with my number? How? I'm losing my mind. What the heck? I don't take it anywhere. No, honey, I need mine. I just don't understand as to where it went. Okay, well, you're doing your you number line. Which somehow I keep the music. Look at this number line of mine. A little. Me too. Me too. Me too. Hey, be quiet, please. We don't need y'all shouting out at me. Do that. All right. So if we did it on a number line, and you guys are a lot of you guys are choosing to use the number line. You've got a number line right at the top here, also on your um, on your uh, your name tag, and that's great. If you're using your number line, you're gonna start at the eight, and you're gonna hop until you get to no, 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 no. We do not blow our noses at our desks. You blow your nose over here. Then you, you throw it away and you can sanitize your hands without touching anything. Okay, honey? All right. So we're going to hop and count how many hops it takes us to get to five. Okay? One, two, three. It took us three hops. And we had three that we crossed out. So it would be eight minus three equals five. Eight and five. And three because it's eight minus three equals five, or eight minus five equals three, or five plus three equals eight. Okay, very good, very good, excellent. Pat yourself on the back. I guess I'll find that unless you chose not to do it with us, in which case you don't get to pat yourself on the back. You can cry a little bit, that's because that's how I feel, and you don't do your work. Aha, found it. Okay, now you can erase it quickly. Now you may erase it quickly. Thank you. Okay, and show me that you're ready to move on to the next one. Like, sit down quietly. Just, uh, I'm ready to work. Oh, I see lots of first graders ready to work. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. All right, let's listen carefully. Let's listen carefully. Um, oh, look at that. Let's see. Do I have my... I think I forgot to make myself my little view. So if you were... Okay, and we're going to have our linking cubes if you still have those. Um, oh, my number, I 
They should have been in the baggie. Okay, eight cubes. These are apples. Jimmy, you don't need to jump them out. You just need to take out eight. Cambry, you're spending an awful lot of time messing around and not getting your eight cubes out quickly. Danny, do you still have your cubes at home? I gave you those cubes. I think so. We're not gonna look for them. If you can go find them, it's it's more fun if you have the materials. I don't know, Camry. Is it eight cubes? Okay. All right. I have eight cubes. Now, five. So these are going to represent apples. They're going to represent apples. Five apples are red. I'm putting on my magic glasses. Five of my apples. I can see are red. The rest are green. The rest are green. Can you guys imagine your two parts? Looking at your apple, at your at your cube apples, breaking them up. So Cambry, that means you're looking at your, your cube apples and you're imagining I have five apples that are red and the rest that are green. Okay. So those are my two parts, right? My two parts. We're gonna name a number bond out of those parts, okay? I have eight apples all together. I have five red apples. And the rest are green, right? And if we use, I think, one, two, three, four, five, and the rest are green, I have three left over, right? Three are green. So that's a blue right. If you have five on one and three on the other, then yes, exactly like that. Okay. So what you're saying here is five red apples plus three green apples equal eight apples altogether. Or you can say eight apples minus the five red apples equals three green apples. Or you can say eight red or eight total apples minus three green apples equals five red apples. Right? It does not matter. Uh, Rudy and Louise, if you are going to chit chat, you guys cannot sit next to each other or sit at the same area three feet apart. Okay, you cannot sit that close to each other if you're just going to chit chat. So, Louise, you're going to have to go back to your seat if you cannot leave him alone. Rudy, if you cannot resist him, then you're going to have to go back to your seat. Okay. So learn how to work near each other without talking. Okay, very good. So do you see how we can write this in many ways? And it all means the same thing, right? If I have three, Jimmy, I need you to stop playing. We're not playing. If I have three plus five, it equals eight. If I have five plus three, it equals eight. 
If I have eight and I take away five, it equals three. If I have eight and I take away three, it equals five. These are our number families. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to do a, like, another one like that. Put down your cubes. Put down your cubes so you don't. I need to get my. Put down your cubes so you don't feel like you need to play with them. Don't shout at me repeatedly because it makes me crazy. Do you want your Yes, that's why I literally said I erased. If, if you could shout at me, you'd probably have heard my subject. Erase, put down your cubes, and erase. Okay. I had seven candy bars, and then my very nice friend gave me some more. I ended up Excuse me, Jimmy. They are not going to stop touching them. Jimmy. Okay. Jimmy. I'm not talking to myself up here. If I'm saying your name, especially I'm talking to you. I said no more touching the cubes for now. We're thinking and we're talking. Okay. I have seven candy bars. I got some more. My very nice friend shared some more on me. And now I have nine candy bars. Now I have nine candy bars. So I have to say seven plus what equals nine. Hold on. If you know that, wonderful. But I don't need you shutting out right now. Okay? Okay, what's our biggest number? What's the biggest number there? What's going to go in that big bubble for our number box? Uh, Maximilian? Seven. Really? Seven's the biggest? No. I have two numbers. I have seven and I have nine. Which one's bigger? Nine is bigger. Don't just guess. Make sure that you're looking. And so that means seven goes in one of these smaller bubbles. Okay, now if I'm drawing my picture here, I could draw seven candy bars, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's my first group of candy bars. And then I'm going to keep counting and seeing and see if I get to ten, right? I would go seven, eight, nine. Ten. How many more candy candy bars did I have to count on, Danny? Three. 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 Very good. I could also, if I count it up, I mean, just on my fingers, just like I did on my board. Seven, eight, nine, ten. If I count it up on the number line, I'd have seven. Eight, nine, ten. I mean, sorry. I did not. Miss Kennison, you lost your your mind. Am I supposed to be counting up to ten? No. Miss no. Kennison, I caught your mistake. Am I, you caught my mistake. Thank you, Miranda. Thank you, Miranda, for catching my mistake. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my goodness! Was I supposed to be counting up to to, to ten? No. No. my mind for a second. You guys got to catch my mistakes. Goofy Miss Kennison lost her head. Okay, don't let me lose my head. Don't let me lose my head. See if you can catch my mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. Let's try that again. If we're counting on the number line and we're counting up to get to nine, we can't have any halves. It takes one, two. It took two halves to get to nine. Good. Two halves to get to nine. If I had my cubes and I had one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, and I wanted to get to nine. I keep going. Seven, eight, nine. And I say, okay, I've got my group of seven. And then I had two more to make nine. To make nine. There we go. Miss Kennison, don't lose your head. Don't lose your head. You got to pay attention to what numbers we're doing. All right. Very good. So, maybe seven plus two equals nine. What's a subtraction problem that I could do? I know, I know Elizabeth knows one. What's a subtraction problem that I could do for this? Miranda? Um, seven minus two. Uh oh. Would that give me the same answer? No. No, I want to use all three of the same numbers. All three of the same numbers. Maximilian? Okay, well, here's a hint. If the traction, the biggest number always goes first. So what's the biggest number? Nine. So we'd start with nine. And then just, we could just go straight in order this way. Um, or we could go nine minus seven equals two. It does not matter. From then we go nine's our biggest. Minus two is gonna equal seven. If we did it the other way, go nine minus seven equals two, that would also be correct. Okay? Wait, yeah? No, you can't do 9 plus, honey. You can't do 9 plus because is that going to equal the same? No. No, you could do 9 minus 2 equals 7 or 9 minus 7 equals 2. Or you could flop 7 and 2 and go 2 plus 7. But you can't do 9 plus because it's not going to give us. Can I raise it? your horses. Okay. Okay. Would you guys have done all that? You've done it all correctly. You may erase it. You may erase it. And now I'm already going to put it away? No. Not quite yet. Not what? quite yet. Timmy, just hold on, please. Hold on. Now what I, what you, hold on. We are going to talk about our problem set for a couple of minutes. Now, Miss Danny, I wish I could have given you this or like to take home. Gotta know or gotta realized because you could have done this at home and turned it in. Um, but anyway, it is online or um, you can watch the video later, pause it, take uh, do it on your work and then turn it in on Dojo that way too. Um, Okay, but all right, so when we're looking at this, now you guys, I want you to pack your markers. Put your markers away. You can keep, and your whiteboards, you can keep your math stuff out for now. You can keep this out for now. So, Anaya, I need you to erase it. We're not drawing pictures. I need you to put away your whiteboards, your erasers, and your markers. Totally me. Okay, get out your math workbooks, please. 
Turn to the page that says lesson 32 problem set. It should be right after the page you did yesterday. Have a couple of you who chose not to do anything yesterday. I did that page. Uh, I didn't do that page. So. You need to get this out quickly. Does it say lesson 32 at the top? It should say lesson. Okay. Thirty minutes. Y'all going to do it? Lesson thirty-two. I'm on lesson thirty-two. Okay. Turn to that quickly. Okay. Now guess what? I will help you guys with the first two. The back two don't have any words, so you guys need to do that on your own. That says, let's do day one. That was yesterday's. This is today's. Yeah, I don't want you scribbling all over, believe it or not. It's not there for you to scribble all over. 32. She looks like this. Less than 32. It says it up at the top. So, no, not page 32. It says it up here. So, this is the one you should have done yesterday. I don't know why you did it since you were here. Um, so, the page that we want to do today. Why don't you come sit up here, Max? Yep. Okay. So, boys and girls, the first two I will read. Please follow along with me. Jimmy, hurry up. Everybody is, is ready except for you. Does that look like this? No. He was the back of you. Lesson 30. Right there, lesson 31, that's what we did yesterday, so we're doing lesson 32 today. I did this time, I did today. Yes, it's set. Okay, so I'm only going to do problems one and two with you, because you guys are perfectly capable of doing three and four by yourselves. You just need to find the six plus what equals eight, and then three plus what equals nine. Okay, so... Problem number one. Notice I'm putting a number one here. That means this is problem number one. Now it says there are five apples for a gym or a Sam's. The rest are gym. How many apples does Jim have? Let's see. Okay, if I could type it, it'd be faster. Okay, and then it has. And number one, and it says five, and it says the blank and blank, and then it, and it's got these problems: blank plus blank equals five, and then it says five minus blank equals blank. Okay. Now, if, please be quiet. There are five apples. So I'm going to draw five apples. One, two, three, four, five. Are they the most beautiful, fanciest apples you ever can see? Nope. Okay? And then it says four are Sam's. So I'm going to say, okay, one, two, three, four. Those four are Sam's. The rest are Jim's. How many apples does Jim have? Andrew, please pay attention. Those four are Sam's. How many apples did Jim have? And I have one. Very good. So guess what? You just found the parts of your number one. Four and one. And right there. Four apples are Jim. The rest are Sam's. Now if you do it backwards, five minus one equals four. Or five minus four equals one. Doesn't matter. Five minus the four apples that Sam had gives you the one apple that Jim has. Okay? 
And then, and then right here where it says, says Jim has blank apples. That's where you would write. Okay. If you did it exactly how I did it, then yes. But I do need you to draw your, your math picture. Yes, but I do need you to draw your math picture. I also need you to fill in where it says Jim has blank apples, and you need to fill that one. I need Rudy to stop playing with his pencil. It's not a magic show. I do need you to actually do your work. Cambridge, quit showing me your work. If you have not done what I did and you don't have one written in that blank, then it's not correct. If you did not draw five apples and circle four of them, but instead drew like eight apples or six apples, looks like you drew six apples. Oh my goodness, it looks like you drew six apples instead of the five apples I told you to. It's like I have one, two, three, four, five. So five mushrooms are black. And fill that out. Five mushrooms are black. And then how many are white? Count it with me. How many are left over? Eyes up. Five. Eyes up. One, two, three. Five plus three are eight. Eight minus five. Equals three. So my uh, other number over here for my number bond, three. And then it's three mushrooms are white. Okay? That is the only numbers uh, or ones I'm going to do for you. Because those are the only, or do with you, those are the only ones that have writing. If you need to pause the video, kind of do that. 
you may or you can also do it on Google Classroom. I kind of prefer it if you can write it and turn it in on Gojo, but that's you know whatever is easiest. And then you got the blank ones on the back. Six plus what equal eight, right? Eight equals it should be six plus what? Right? And then this is a little bit confusing because it does your subtraction backwards. Eight minus what equals six equals blank. Well, you'd say like eight minus six equals what? Right? Now here, you've got three plus what equal nine? Okay, so your nine is going to go over here after your equal sign, and it's going to be three plus what equals nine. Then it's going to be nine minus three equals what? Okay, so you guys need to do this on your own. If you're at home, you can pause the video, write that down, turn it in on Dojo. Pause the video, write that down, turn it in on Dojo. Good. Okay, so do the rest of those problems on your own, please. What? Okay, sweetie. Do you notice how you don't have the number stories like I have it? Look, Jimmy, I have the number drawn. You need to have a number drawn on yours. You also need to put where it says Jim has blank apples, you need to put one there. Over here, look. Jim has only apples. You need to put one there. You also need to draw the eight apple or the five apples, circle the four. You have one left field. Okay? And then you'll be doing it just fine. It wants you to do number stories on the end, on the other page too. So please do those number stories. Like those pictures. Okay, hey, don't forget to fill in the blank green mushrooms are white. You need to do your number, your number pictures. In this box, we want you to do your, your number pictures in there. Actually, hold on. Yeah. I think it might want you to write your own word, but no, yeah, number pictures, good. Cambridge, you didn't finish filling it out. This one, eight minus five equals three. You actually have to do all the work. Go back to your seat. Quit standing up. Go back to your seat. Okay, good. Turn the page to the next one. Okay. All right, those of you at home, I think you guys know what to do.